welcome to the 18th episode in which we are going to talk about the cap carbonate rock which is late neoproterozoic in age and it tops the pre ediacaran glacial sequences the cap carbonate rock is a distinctly layered lithological unit that overlies globally the diamectites and glacial marine carbonate dominated sequences of the tertian that is 717 to 659 million years ago and the meridian one that is 640 to 635 million years ago which are the periods of the late proterozoic we have learned in episode 17 that the greenhouse effect of the volcanic gases concentrating in the then atmosphere during the syn volcanic eruptions of these periods initiated deglaciation and rescue of the snowball earth compared to the tertian the merinovan epoch was much shorter why maybe because of the more widespread volcanic eruptions of the time almost synchronous was the breakup of the supercontinent rodinia as the deglaciation removed the huge glacial mass on its crust it triggered isostatic rebounds and tectonic reorganization of the continents or continental blocks and oceans the splitting and rifting restored the speedy weathering and erosion of the crust and transported glacial debris closer to the coastal area the water dissolved components in turn were delivered to the shallow oceans that open the surface water of the oceans became slowly oxygenated and warmer while at depth the milieu remained cool and anoxic the surface ocean waters became alkaline also while the deeper water remained less alkaline and more acidic the profiles of temperature dissolved oxygen ph and salinity got established gradually in them quite similar to that in the present day oceans the continued rifting caused transgressive deposition of the merinovan cap carbonate rock sections along with the diamectites the syn glacial and post glacial sediments accreted to the coastal shelf and slopes of the tectonically affected margins of the continental blocks these sediment sections show the presence of minerals like magnesium calcite aragonite occasionally interlayered barite that is baso4 and phosphorite which is microsphorite with calcium carbonate dominated carbonates and the clastic diamectites this mineral association points to the difference in composition of the surface and the upwelled ocean waters it distinguishes also the merinovan from the tertian sequences which are interbreded with femn rich oxide sulfide layers another kind of algae capable of building mounds 
probably the eukaryotes mediated in the precipitation of the cap carbonate rock sections the tectonic and volcanic events of the entire cryogenian period were also supportive to the growth of blue green algae which established the redox potential of the shallow and deeper oceans another kind of algae capable of building mounds probably the eukaryotes mediated in the precipitation of the cap carbonate rock sections we will look further at these biogeochemically precipitated unique cap carbonate rock sections of the late protozoic in the next episode thank you